Hey everybody, Curseus here with more Empires and Allies. Now, <clears throat> I have gotten my Robotics Bay and my Omega unit. Uh, when you do unlock it, it is 750 gold, which is just $5 from the shop. Or at least it should be $5 for most. I mean, if you don't have the starter the starter package there, then, then it's like $10. But, uh, because, you know, you can't buy... S I don't think you can buy 7. No, you can just buy 1,200 gold or two sets of five, which you would be buying the 1,200 anyway. Unless you have this little thing right here in the corner for the extra 700, for the extra 250 for five bucks. In which case, then, you know, you only need five dollars. Anyway, <clears throat> I have set my base up in preparation of other people attacking with their Omega units. I've got all four of my Patriots leveled all the way up as far as they can go right now. And they are all fitted with the uh, War Factory upgrades. I have my Ion Cannon and a Stealth Generator. So, yes, lots of uh, lots of fun stuff going on there. But what we're most interested in is how this Omega unit performs. So really quick, let's take a look. He's got 48,991 HP. I've already played him in a few battles. I know how he performs, but we're going to all see how he performs. He has 1,300 DPS. Seems pretty strong, but overall, it's not as strong as you think because I had something on my hand there. And being that it has, it can fire a couple of shots pretty quick, but then he has to stop and reload, which that reload time takes about about the uh, the, the firing time of a tank. So. He's not quite as powerful as you think, but he is powerful, super powerful. But it's since you can deploy him for defense as well, you know, he can kind of help counter enemy Colossus units as well. So let's go ahead and take him into battle here and find out how he does. Which, like I said, I already kind of know. But we're gonna we're gonna roll with it anyway. So let's go ahead and find some. Uh, this guy's in HQ 15. Does he have stealth? No, he doesn't have a stealth generator. Oh, but he has a concealed defense right there. Which I can take care of. It's not a problem. So let's go. <coughs> Pardon me. So let's go ahead and first we'll hit this and we'll just put some damage on that and then we'll go ahead and hit the concealed defense here because like I said I'm not 100% sure what it is but I'm going to make sure it's gone and then we'll go ahead and just pop one of these oh, wait a minute he's got another concealed defense right there oh that's got to be the uh Oh, it doesn't matter. Because I'm just going to do this. Oh, no. Okay, cool. I got the, uh, the Zion can. Haha. <laughs> and as you can see, the, uh, the Colossus is immune to stun effects. all towers around him to target him. And everything is blowing up here. What? What is this? That's a third concealed defense I didn't see. Guys, go get that. There's no, you can't have more than one ion cannon out, right? I'm gonna have to review that because I'm pretty sure I destroyed three concealed defense. Oh, maybe he had two. 
two robotics bays. Or, you know, the, 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 med, report, the med repair bots. Blah, 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 re repair bots. He had two of those. That makes more sense. And I got 84 XP for my Colossus and some rare loots. Anyway, um, so yeah. I was a little confused there, but it's okay now. We'll go ahead and re, uh, reassign all my troops and get going again. Yeah, I was a little confused, but uh, he had two of the med, med repair bots. Okay, two metal reins. There's his rail gun. He's got lots of steel and a concealed defense. That's got to be med repair bots. So I need to look around and see... He's got another concealed defense. Nope. So let's go ahead and attack this guy. He's got a rail gun, which is pretty strong. But I've got a free orbital strike. Haha! -ha! Little bastard. Maybe we'll hit this one. Blow that up. Thank you. His uh, his artilleries are not very upgraded. So first the Colossus, and then everything else. And as you can see, the Colossus tanks right through that that. Um, Rail gun. Go, Colossus. There we go. Take care of that, buddy. Go, Colossus. Go. Watch that Colossus just go. Like I said, he's slow, so therefore he's kind of balanced. Because you have to get him right up in the front line at first before he can do anything. So I would say he's fairly balanced. Not completely balanced, just fairly balanced. That's kind of my opinion. At least. Let's go ahead and do another battle here. I got plenty of time here. Oh, what's this? HQ 15. There's his metal rain. Interesting how he set up his walls. We'll see how that works out. So, yeah. We're just going to go. We're going to go for it. Free orbital strike. Go! Yeah. Ooh, got a couple of stealth tanks. And then we'll go ahead and pop another one of these artilleries. Where's the artillery number four? So I would rather pop that. Mm, I don't see it. Which means I guess oh well I'm gonna pop it. Alright. Let's go! Oh, look at all that. Isn't that lovely? CG. 
Colossus took all of his stealth tanks down. So you, Colossus, go that way. We're gonna use your ability to get your shield back and stuff. And then you're just gonna shoot stuff, buddy. Oh yeah. Orbital strike again. Woo! Those guys over there keep getting hurt. Tons and tons of stealth tanks going down this game. Go guys, go! Go! Done, 100%. So like I said, unless you get the Colossus right in the middle of it immediately, you know, he's going to fall behind your troops. That's 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 just a, uh, a given. So you have to be able to drop him right in the middle of everything. And there's a couple of uh, boosts you could do, by the way. Like, you can automatically repair him after each battle. Um, it automatically does it for you for every 15 minutes. So, which makes me think if he gets damaged in a defense battle, he is only available for that defense battle. I am not entirely sure on that, though. I will find out about that in the future. So, let's go ahead and get one more battle in because I got the time. So, we got HQ 14. He's got the resources, but no. HQ 15, he doesn't really have the resources either. I want somebody with some resources. HQ 16, he doesn't have resources either. Let's keep looking. What's going on here? Is there, oh, there it is. HQ 19, and he's severely rushed. I'm going to, uh... I'm going to raid him for his uh, 110,000 steel. So let's do it. This guy's severely rushed. This is why you don't rush, by the way. So let's go ahead and hit this. That was three free destructions. I'm gonna take this down. Okay. That should do it. Alrighty. And then I'll just take down tons of stuff, man. Awesome. So let's drop the Omega right here see what pops out what a surprise yeah r rushing and putting you know making a trap for with stealth tanks doesn't work anymore it seems and now mr. Omega you're going to go get that stuff up. Yeah, this is why you don't rush. Unless, of course, this is just a farm base. Like, this base is like an alternate account that just supplies resources to another player. But still, I got a ton of steel off of this. I, like, even if he counterattacks, he's not going to get any of it back. So, because I'm probably going to use it in some way. So, there's a lesson in rushing. Don't rush ba uh, your base building. Anyways, 
So that's where I'm going to leave things off, guys. It's been 15 minutes here. So let me know what you guys think about the Colossus down below in the comments. I would love to hear your opinions on what you think. And don't forget to hit the like button. If you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And every subscribe helps. And share this video with your friends. Let me know. Let them know what I think about the Colossus too, you know? And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.